Welcome to stick to three. But welcome to how to fix an episode. Yakety sets. I, I don't think this is a terrible episode. I don't think this is a good episode. I think it's a below average episode again. It's better than non complete clause. I think any but any episode would be better than non complete clause. I think I need to do it. I don't want to even watch to watch that episode. I do remember it because it it's, it's it's the star in the back of my mind about how P gave me PSTSD post batch episode disorder. <laughs> or should I should say PBED post bad episode disorder. <laughs> Kinda <laughs> every time I say that thing, I remember actually remember the episode. <laughs> but I digress. But anyway, how to fix it? This message is like stupid. I mean, it's not the greatest. I think everybody done did their little piece on how bad this, ep this episode was kind of off. The message was off. It, I think it needed to be focused more on the non-constructive criticism than the cr constructive criticism angle. You shouldn't ignore all criticism, otherwise you never change. I uh, mean, you never get better. You keep doing the same thing over and over again and nothing ever gets improved. So they kind of made the ill, everything that happened not existent because really by canceling up everything. Okay. It's a funny episode. You found it funny. Comedy is gold. If that was what they were going for. I don't know what they were really going for here. Maybe they're going for comedy. You were judging for comedy. I didn't really laugh that much. Sorry. I was somewhat semi-annoyed by her overreaction to an instrument of not being able to play it. I was kind of a bit distracted. It wasn't really that funny. Did she go all the way out of her way to move out of Ponyville because she can't play a freaking item, a instrument? I don't think that's good comedy. I mean, what's the punchline? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where the punchline is because I that that's kind of blew me. I said, really, really, really. Oh, oh my goodness! You act like the CJ told you you suck and you were the scum of the earth. You need to just get out of town because we don't want you around here. You're you're messing up everybody's life. You need to get the heck out of Pony Bell because we don't like you anymore, Pinky Pie. But he just she acted like she did and and he said, Oh, you need to come oh okay, I'll come back. But, but no need to convince. If you were going to go this angle, I would at least say I was expecting her to say Why should I come back when my talents aren't wanted? But that'd be kind of true because you went for picking my nose thing. The only it just seemed a bit selfish of her, okay? Oh, oh, it's me, my I am not good at the, 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 the whatever the instrument the name is called. Um, <laughs> I, I, my life is not worth meeting. Okay, come on now. But how I would fix this episode is have her, I don't know, have someone suggest that she play practice on her own private time. And not disturb people when they're trying to put people to bed. Not during bedtime when people are trying to sleep, and not during crucial parts of events in people's life. I mean, Rainbow Dash is irrelevant because she at least got a trophy. I'm not worried about Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash cannot get first place for once. Okay, I, I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I'm sorry, but your plight is not even nowhere near important than Bear Deer Appetites. <laughs> at least. Nothing got really messed up. You just came short of a first place prize. I mean, I I could. It would be better if she didn't win at all. Okay, if Pinkie Pie kept you from winning the entire thing because of her playing, that would have been I don't know about a excuse than winning second place. I mean, you can win second place in something, Rainbow Dash. It's not like she calls you to get a B or an F in school. Okay, <laughs> next. 
Okay, Applejack had a the only I think had Applejack and Rarity had the best excuse. She messed up what she was doing. It may it didn't messed up what she was trying to do with the dress, and she totally decimated Applejack's apple orchard farm with her bad playing. Okay, that's economic. You are economically messed up now. Okay, you're messing up somebody's livelihood when you're playing so badly that you mess up their product. You could say ec Rarity's econo economy was slightly messed up for that day, for that one item. She comes to her a, a, a dress, okay? She can't do nothing with that dress. It's messed up that she had to undo everything she did and start over, okay? And make a new one, okay? It's hard work making those dresses. Fluttershy worked her butt off to get those animals to sleep and she disrupted their slumber with her bad plane. So then she had to spend extra time getting them back to sleep and she lost out on her own sleep. So her health was affected by her bad plane. How I would fix. And ponies obviously didn't like her playing because they ran out of town the moment she came into the city. She doesn't aware that she her plane is messing up people's lives. Good. Unblivious. <laughs> totally oblivious. To the damage she's causing. And this is why this episode is the worst Mickey episode I've seen. It's like, it's not the worst. It's not the best. It's not live up to the expectation of what she could be. But how do you fix that? Well, how do you fix most problems? You bargain. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, pick your pie. We know you love this instrument so much. Why don't you practice it on your house at specific times of day? What if Particularly not when people are trying to sleep, and particularly, okay, maybe not when people are trying to sleep in early in the morning. Maybe during lunchtime. Practice a little, get better, blah, blah, we support you. These are type of constructive criticism because it gives a person time to improve, and it isn't just you suck, okay? I think it was trying to teach you that you should only listen to constructive criticism, but it was taught poorly, okay? That's my opinion. I think she took the criticism too hard or too soft. Okay, she was too gleeful at the criticism. She's like, okay, and then she went into a deep depression. I, you weren't obviously okay with what they were saying. You could have been at least honest and said, okay. You say they suck. At least if she was like, oh, you're saying I suck, we would have seen the depression coming, okay? we They would have been prepared. They just got blindsided with this. They thought everything was fine, and next thing you know, she's like depressed. That was all that does, and nothing can get her happy again. Not even the, her natural talents. That all her accomplishments, they threw a party for her, and she didn't even come. Stan decided to move out of town. And though they told her she was coming there, and they, were, they, they act like they evicted her out of town or something, and ran her out of town, but nope. It was, she left on her own. I mean, really, people, that's, you just made Pinkie Pie selfish. How did you do that? You regressed her entire character. It's a pretty split story. But, I'm not surprised. Sometimes, they done this with Applejack, they done this with rarity sometimes I mean, it's it's to tell a story okay by the end of the day it's about telling story I mean if they were I know we could complain about how they regressed the cursing character for that point but sometimes if you really want to tell a story you have to do that sometimes if you can't find a story without regressing the characters if you ask me I think I would have chose a different pony for the job but since she's the only one who actually plays instruments, I mean, I guess she was the only one they could have used. 
It wouldn't have make sense for Rainbow Dash to be doing it. It wouldn't make sense for Applejack. It surely wouldn't make sense for Rarity or Twilight Sparkle. And it was a yak thing, so the only person who was deeply close with the yak is Pinkie Pie. So Pinkie Pie was the only pony who could have done it. So I guess it was necessary since there was no, it, if it wasn't like there was two ponies. If it was Applejack and Pinkie Pie, then yes, I could see Applejack maybe trying something to be more diplomatic. But it, since it was Pinkie Pie and the Pinkie Pie is the only pony who reached out to the yaks for diplomatic reasons and thought, saw something that the yaks had that she wanted to play and try and she decided to take it up on bill and try it. Now, I'm thinking I would have went a totally different direction. I would have her stay in Yakiville, go to yaks oh, a lot and they were wondering man. where she was, you always wanted to yak is. And they go there and they find her playing right. there. Their instrument. She's terrible. And all the acts don't like it. And they say, we're going to and it turns into a friendship problem. And then they teach Pinkie Pie how to use the ukulele or whatever that device is. Or some sort of way like that. And they teach about making criticism and how to properly take criticism on me somehow. Or they sort of try to do it, but I think there's sort other of ways to better do it. They were supportive, and that is good. But sometimes you've got to be supportive and critical at the same time. So I support what you're doing, but this is what you need to do to improve. And that is how I would fix the message. You get to instead of saying. But you should do whatever you love, despite what anybody says. Instead of saying that, you should say, you should do what you love, but listen to the criticisms of people who care about you and want you to do better. And not to the haters who just saying that you suck, to be saying you suck. That is the better message that you should take from this episode and not just do whatever you because somebody do whatever do something you're not good at just for the heck of it and continue to do it even though you're not good at it and keep doing it the same way even though you're not good at it and don't listen to any criticism whatsoever i mean you have to listen to criticism to get better that's how most famous people who become famous and good at something do they listen to criticism that helps them they don't just blindly disregard every criticism they ever hold but until next time, I'll probably do some prayer episodes on how to fix. Hit that like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time on how to fix.